Yeah, guys, it's hard to believe. I watched as two employees of this restaurant, a Buria Bento House, showed up to work today only to see that there's a closed sign on the door as well as flowers on the doorstep. I watched as they realized that the pregnant woman who was killed in that Belltown shooting yesterday was in fact their boss, the co-owner of this restaurant. Neighbors and friends shared with me their shock. Ah, oh, man. And when I saw this, I didn't know what to think. This, the moment a Belltown local realizes these flowers are here for a reason. It's just devastating to think that they're gone. She learned it was her friend, 34-year-old Ina Kwan, the owner of Aburia Bento House. This was our go-to. Who died with her unborn baby in Monday's shooting in broad daylight on 4th and Lenora, just a few blocks from here. This is not the kind of woman who seemed to have a lot of enemies. She had none. I can't think of one person. So the question is why? Court documents say a video shows, quote, no interaction between the suspect and the victims in the preceding block prior to the suspect running up to the victim's vehicle and shooting into it. Police were able to make an arrest because, according to court documents, when officers approached him, he raised his hands up in a surrender position and repeated, I did it, I did it. Police recovered a gun stolen out of Lakewood. The 30-year-old man accused in the shooting waived his first court appearance. Neighbors say the grief is twofold. We're grieving the future loss of the baby that would have become part of our community and maybe made contributions. Ina treated friends like family. She was just an incredible human being and selfless works every day. We used to tease her about the fact that, you know, she, it was time for her to take out. I mean, how could she deliver plates with that little belly sticking out? Okay, our thoughts and prayers are with the families. It's just not enough anymore. And you can see by the sign left on the front restaurant door that hearts are heavy here in Belltown tonight. This is a popular restaurant, even among celebrities like Kenny G, as you may have seen in some of those photos. Uh, so definitely a sad situation. And we've now learned that the husband who was in the car at the time has been released from the hospital. The two share a child as well, another child. Reporting live in Belltown, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.